I'm gonna go back and really explore this pop, 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 pop a thrash. Uh, Three-one lead in a bleak second period where Seattle looked to have the game won by going up four-three until climactic six-four win. All within regulation time. I'm glad I stayed up for this one. Go Leafs. Amen to that. Amen to that, Thrash. Absolutely. Look, man. Are we to the point that we can't enjoy games like this? You know what I mean? A win is a win is a win is a win. And there's even some losses I can sit through. There really is. I don't care how you get to the win. My way, your way, I don't care. Get to the win and I am down. Uh, any preference between Florida and Tampa for the playoffs? Nah, either one. Look, the Leafs, I'm not afraid of anybody in the Leafs but the Leafs. Does that make sense? The only person I fear for in the playoffs come first round is the Leafs. You know what I mean? That's all. Can they beat themselves finally? Can they get out of their own heads and play the, the brand of hockey that we see all season long? The brand of hockey that we know can at least do some destruction, right? Let's see it. I don't care if it's Florida, Tampa. I don't care if Montreal somehow squeaks in and we go up against them again. Bring it on. Bring on anybody because I think the Leafs need to beat themselves for once. You know what I mean? Or I guess not beat themselves. <laughs> How about that? Right? I'm kind of saying the opposite there. But not beat themselves. Just, just go in. Play your brand of hockey. Play it like you mean it. Play it like you're not scared of anything. You see all that laughing and stuff like that on the bench? You know what I mean? You got to be able to do that when you're down one nothing. You got to. You know, even down 2 nothing, you know, a one or two goal deficit, you still need to keep that if that's your brand of hockey. And it is. They're basically the Mighty Ducks, guys. You know what I mean? Like, that's the kind of brand that the Leafs are putting together, right? Like, their whole starting lineup and a few cast of characters here and there, they're like, they're just the constant, like, entertaining guys. You know? They're a mishmash of kind of styles and it all works for them. And, like, you know, they're kind of like, Getting bullied a lot, but they still get wins, you know? Like, it's... I don't know. It's cool. Um, I'll just say I enjoy... I say... Uh, I enjoyed the game when Vancouver beat us. Yeah, it was a loss, but to quote Gladiator, are you not entertained? Yeah, man! <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. That's it. That's it, man. That's exactly it. Okay, look. Um, right after that Game 7 loss against Montreal, I was crushed i was crushed but literally it took me for what five ten minutes maybe 15 to get down here you know change into my stuff get on camera and like before i'd even hit the thing i was already in a better mood because my gosh were we not entertained were we not on the edge of our seats for that game seven that one loss is better than any regular season win i've ever seen well, maybe not ever, but like there's very few regular season wins that will mean more to me than that game seven loss. I will always remember where I was in life when it was going down, what we were doing online here, all that stuff. Like straight up, you got the right attitude thrash. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, don't, don't, don't hold back. Don't hold back, all right? So many of these teams got dirt on them. That's equally as embarrassing as anything that Toronto Maple Leafs have faced. I'm sorry. Yes, it is. The only thing that makes us more embarrassing, uh, our moment, our moments more embarrassing, is that there's about I don't know, a hundred times per per unit <laughs> more more viewers and stuff, more attention. Come on, you know what I mean? The Leafs can't even cough without everybody going. Hey, you think you're gonna lose the first round now because of that cough? Like, are you kidding me? That's the only thing that makes it more embarrassing. More people are watching. More people are interested. I'm sorry your team sucks so bad that nobody cares when they lose and they have embarrassing moments. You know what I mean? I'm sorry that doesn't get blown up all over the news the way that the Leafs' embarrassing moments do. You know what I mean? Like, jeez. So don't hold back on these goofs, all right? They're going to say stuff about your team. They better be only one of, like, maybe six teams right now. Maybe seven teams. They can really say something and have it stick right now, you know? So, you know, let's be loud. Let's be loud and proud. Some teams out there have the right to, like, use that at us right now, kind of. It's still pretty recent. I get it, right? I always just use the the, the comebacks. When any of that stuff happens, I'm like, that was last season, bro. Like, are you living in the past? What's up here? Like, you know? Cool. I know that happened last season, but this is a whole new season now. So, mm, that's the beauty of sports, you know? What's done is done. It can't be changed. You know what I mean? So, let it die. Let it die. I'm willing to let it die, you know? So their nonstop first round chirps, pff, check their team. How many of them aren't even in a round? 
and haven't been for the past few years. What's a Buffalo fan going to say to you right now? And they'll try. Oh, what's the point of even getting there if you're just going to be out in the first round? Well, because it's better than any regular season game. That's why. And once you've seen it and you've witnessed it and you've felt the rush, it is the most it is the most exhilarating sports experience is playoff hockey. You know what I mean? To me. Because you love the sport and then playoffs in general boosts up anything. When things are on the line, like someone's career finishing for the season, you know what I mean? Their work days come to an end. You shut them down with your wins. Like, that's devastating, man. That's heartbreaking for people. There's a lot on the line here. You know? So it gets addictive when you see playoff hockey. So, yeah, I'll take first-round exits for the next decade. I don't care. That would still be better than any, any of those years where they didn't make the playoffs. Sorry. It's just it's just better. You know? So don't let them say nothing about that, okay? Don't let them say... Throw, what are some more Leafs... Hey, before we go, what are some other Leafs uh, chirps you guys hear? I'll fight them all for you right now, and then you can take them back and use them yourself, all right? I'll help all of your debates right now. Tell me a Leafs chirp you hear all the time that you're sick of. You know what I mean? And then I'll have a comeback for you. You do, for any chirps about recent playoff stuff, well, where's your team? Are you not going to make it again? Are you not going to make it to the playoffs again? And you're going to say anything about my team? You know what I had to do for that decade when the Leafs weren't making the playoffs? You know what I did? I shut up. I shut up. You know what I mean? That's what I did. And when people would throw comments at my way, I'd laugh along and take it because that's sports. When your team's bottoming out and coming close to it multiple years, you know what I mean? When you're just missing the playoffs and not even getting the good draft pick multiple years, it gets to the point where, yeah, you have to own that as a sports fan and you just have to take the crap of everybody else around you. That's what I did. Now, I'm sorry my team is still in it and your team keeps getting eliminated before it even begins. That's not my problem. Don't come to me with chirps. At least I'm not seeking them out. You know what I mean? I'm not going around blasting Winnipeg pages all over the place. There's a couple people from different fan bases that we're friends with around here. And yeah, they might get a chirp, but it's because I want to help them get noticed the way that they're helping me get noticed. I'm trying to give them some interaction because I like them. There's Montreal fans I like. There's there's Jets fans I like. There's uh, Boston fans I like. There's people from all sorts of fan bases that I like. And so you might see me chirp their teams on their posts, but that's because I want to help. I want to help. That's how this thing grows together, right? I don't go around blasting strangers about their favorite teams. You know what I mean? Oh, guys, quickly, 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 quickly. I shouldn't say this, but you, <laughs> I'm sorry. It came up on Instagram. Now I'm getting Steve Dangle things showing up on my Instagram thing, okay? So he had quickly said something about, like, you have every right to boo as a ticket fa uh, ticket goer or, or payer or whatever, you know what I mean? You're actually there. You're paying $300 plus to see a thing, right? Like, don't you have the right to boo if it's 8-1 to one or a huge blowout? Sure, you can acknowledge that the team is doing well and that they win most games. He even, like, said all this stuff, but you're there for that one, and to not even see a good a, uh, see a good effort when you show up you have every right to boo like do you see how do you see how self-entitled that is you know what i mean oh my goodness so the theory is okay by that logic a team your favorite team could go 81 and 0 but you show up for a home game in 82 right they lose nine nothing and you're gonna boo them you're gonna boo them because you paid money to see them and oh boy, it looks like they didn't even put out an effort. They were just, you know, phoning it in because it's the last game of the season. You're gonna get mad at a team for going 81 and 0 because they went one. You know what I mean? They got their one when you were there. Shut up, shut up. You know what I mean? Shut up. <laughs> now I'm using an exaggeration and I'm sure even he would agree with me on that. You would never do that. So I'm not trying to say that he would go that hard on them, but the theory remains the same though. They could be having an amazing season. Somebody could be going through something on the team. Maybe there's a sickness going around. Maybe someone's dog passed away or something and everyone's kind of like feeling bad and like, you know what I mean? Like a team dog or something. I don't know. Like we don't know what's going on in their lives. They can have a five to one blowout, a nine to one blowout. It can happen. You know what I mean? But people forget that stuff because what? I paid $300 to come see you. I knew what I signed up for when I paid that money, man. My wife and I have been to crazy games that we probably should never have spent money on. This one, the Winter Classic against Detroit, right? The one that was in Toronto, though, the second one, right? Like, we shouldn't have gone to that. Like, you know what I mean? It's kind of a waste. You're so far back and everything like that. But it was a riot. We knew what we paid for. Win or lose. And they almost lost it, too, right? It was one nothing for, like, the whole game. It was a pretty boring game until the final, you know, chunk of the third period and then into overtime with the win. 
Like, it was very dramatic, but you needed that lull of almost pure boredom, right? Like, what if they had lost that? So what? So what? I know what I signed up for. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so stupid. My wife and I went to the Game 6, right, against Boston. The last Game 6 we had against them. At home, where they had the... Th they had the 3-2 lead in the series. So this could have been 4-2. An elimination at home. My wife and I were at that game. Nice lower bowl seats. That was her idea, though. I would try to go upper bowl, but she she likes to go right. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so we go right sometimes. But you know, like that's that's we knew what we signed up for. Yeah, they lost. Yeah, it was incredibly disappointing. But I'm going to boo them. I'm going to boo them because they didn't go my way. Like, shut up. Shut up. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Okay, guys. Well, I've been on for a while now. I got to get going, okay? But thank you so much. Thanks to everyone in the chat. You know what I mean? You, you're 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 just making my day every time. So let's let's spread the word again, all right? Let's let everybody know. I, I like seeing new faces show up, new names show up. Uh, I like seeing the, the vintage ones return. You know what I mean? Some seasoned veterans. Thanks for any of the subscriptions there. You're looking good with those Maple Leafs beside your name. You know what I mean? Use that Prime, that thing, whatever. Right? If you want to do that Prime Gaming, it's a great way to follow along. Subscribe on YouTube. That's free. You know what I mean? Come on. Everybody, you know what I mean? Just come on over to YouTube, man. Just give me a subscribe, man. Just hit it tonight. If you haven't hit it already, just hit it tonight. It's free. And then I promise you, you can just hide my posts after that if you want. But you're here. You're having a good time. Just hit that subscribe thing on YouTube, all right? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Take care, all right? You be safe out there, and I will try to do the same. Although when you're a Leafs fan, life's always dangerous, right? Boom!